Hello YouTubers and welcome back to having a blast on Wing Commander Saga The Darkest Dawn. So, when we last left off, uh, we took out a small refueling station so as to speak, but well, it was a, a fair few tankers. That Their intended purpose was refueling from a gas giant, cheeky beggars. We also saved a courier, which um, tells us that we'll be uh, wrapping up in Loki now, if not already. So, this is the Lexington. Ooh. That's that's quite meaty, I won't mind flying off one of them. Um, but anyways, let's see what the next mission has in store for us. Could be Loki, could be the next system, who knows? Let's go. I want to extend my congratulations to you for your excellent work in Lokai. A recon there has provided some crucial information for Confed Command, and it seems that we have located a planet that fits the criteria that Command was looking for. May I also remind you that any and all information about our recon mission in the Lokai system remains classified and is not to be passed on to anyone in any form. After all we risked on that mission, we cannot allow loose lips to jeopardize whatever Command intends to do with the information we gathered. Some of you may be aware of our recent encounter with a courier ship. That ship was carrying classified information and orders from Torgo. While we were scouting out the Loki system, the TCS Kenny was conducting a similar recon mission in Niflheim. Apparently, communications with her became sporadic, as if she were being jammed, and then were cut off entirely. Since we are only one jump away from the Niflheim system, we have been ordered to proceed there with all haste and investigate the situation. Since we have the Special Ops Scout vessel Jim Bowie with us, we will be using her special equipment to help us discern the situation in the system, locate the Kenny, and render aid as needed. Let me emphasize that we are jumping into a potentially volatile situation with no hard data on what we may run into. We are behind enemy lines and there will be no reinforcements available for us. We are the reinforcements. We must be at our very best and on our guard for any surprises the Kilrathi may have in store. Moran out. Okay, this doesn't sound too good. It would appear that we're um, going to Niflheim to save the Kinney. Let's hope that she's uh, still intact by the time we get there. Afternoon, archers. In the few hours we've been in the Niflheim system, the scout Jim Bowie has been combing the area in hopes of striking gold. Fifteen minutes ago, she detected a large amount of signal traffic emanating from the asteroid belt near Niflheim 3. The electronic signature is big enough to be either the Kinney or some sort of large Kilrathi cap ship. But then again, it could be a ruse by an electronic warfare Zartov. We know that this tactic has been used effectively against Confed forces in the past few months, most notably in the destruction of the Wellington. So keep your eyes open on this one, pilots. Colonel Walker has ordered two of our longbows and a double escort of arrows to check it out. Alpha Wing will be Assassin, Sandman, Ninja, and Fae. You will proceed to the edge of the asteroid field at Nav-1 and continue in to investigate the unknown source. Major Ramius from the William Tells will be in command of the operation and will be Bravo Leader. I will be leading another flight to investigate a second region of activity. Right, okay, so it's all sounding a bit dodgy. Right, let's hope that, uh... The crap hasn't hit the fan just yet. So, proceed to the edge of the asteroid field, nav 1, and continue to investigate the unknown source. That sounds um, pretty ominous, so let's see what happens. You are cleared for launch, Hell's Archer Alpha. Go solve a mystery for us. I think a more interesting mystery is why you won't have that drink with me, Sweeney. Anyone who has ever met you can solve that little enigma, Sherlock. <laughs> now clam up and let's get this done. <laughs> Ah, uh, brilliant. Ah, this All sounds... All fighters, follow my lead. Proceed to next waypoint. This sounds like some of the, um... Some of the score written for Wing Commander Saga, rather than the, um... Wing Commander 3 score that we've heard quite a lot of. 
Sounds nice. Sounds nice. And it really does keep with the spirit of Wing Commander, I think. And some elements of Star Lancer. Good morning to you too! Woohoo! Foolish. Foolish of me. There we go. This one down. What else we got? I shall reduce you to toast. There we go. <laughs> right. Who wants dibs on the last one? Looks like someone already has dibs. Let's carry on. To the asteroid field! What genius came up with the idea of using longbows to maneuver in an asteroid field? Not me, mate. Flanker, escorts, stick close to us. Continue on current heading. What's that? Major, picking up a weak signal. Bearing 55 minus 19 degrees. I'm updating navigational data. Roger that. Let's check it out. Follow me. Can't see anything. Got a blip, but I can't see anything. What the hell? Those asteroids are moving. Of course they're moving. Asteroids drift around, rookie. Sure. No, seriously, these asteroids are moving like fighters. Yeah, sure they are. Hope you burn your knobhead. Oh. Now oh, what the is it? Damn it, you're right. Looks like there are fighters built on those asteroids. And they're bloody tough. Who would have thought a clump of rock would be so hard? One of the asteroid bastards around us! No way to fight this crap with me! Stop! Bloody Stop. hell! Damn it, it's a trap! We must cover! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey! Watch out! I don't want Fade to die, he's done nothing Looks wrong. Looks like Sweeney won't have to keep turning him down now. <laughs> No, I'm sure I remember Sandman criticising someone for that earlier in the game. I think that sort of shows his uh, growth. People still call him Rookie, but he's becoming quite seasoned. Well, on the plus side, rock ships manoeuvre like crap. Lovely. Let's continue our sweep. That force to nav two. Proceed to next waypoint. Right. Let's see what's happening in these rides. I'm picking up strong readings from that asteroid over there. Looks like we hit the jackpot. I'm picking up a heavy carrier. She must be uh -huh. done for field repairs. That's one big sucker. I'll be damned. That's the KIS gap crack. We tangle with that Utah back at Chengdu. Time to finish the job. I'm not going to argue with you on that one. Let's toast it. Great. Looks like we got more of those gun-toting asteroids. Damn it, our comms aren't going through. We're on our own. 
I can live with it. Just gonna defang this bad boy. This asteroid field is extremely dark. That someone's trying to launch me into uh Every last turret taken care of. Lovely. Uh, guys, that carrier's coming online. Yeah, but it's got no turrets. <laughs> so So I think. Yep. I haven't tried targeting a different turret. They're screwed. Whoa. Hello, asteroid. That's Sierra Hotel, pilot. Thank you. They could just say shit hot, it's less uh less syllables. And I won't report you to the colonel for swearing. Toth. Well, I didn't know you cared. Gap track's going to be around for very long. Ah, what a pretty sight. All fighters concentrate fire on the base, distract their defenses, archers. Right, the base. Well, the base is now illuminated.
didn't realise we had more asteroids out. Why didn't anyone tell me? <clears throat> okay, this thing's probably not got long to live now. 3%. Wow. Glad I got away. You for half an hour. What's going on? We made contact with an enemy carrier at asteroid base. The carrier and the base have been eliminated. Incredible work, gentlemen. Come on home. Set course for the Hermes pilots. Engage autopilots when we are clear of the asteroid field. Mission complete. Impressive work, archers. Major Ramius passes along his regards and a job well done. I never knew that the Kilrathi would do something like outfit an asteroid to broid to bro like a fighter. I've seen stranger things. I also have to say that knocking out a raider base that has been terrorizing Torgo for weeks was a large dab of icing on the cake. Good job. You three and Night Eyes are on alert five status for the archers for the next five hours. But after that, Ramius wants you to join him for a victory drink in the lounge. I don't know about you, but all the kind words in the world can't take the place of a well-deserved beer. Dismiss. Right, and that's our first foray into the Niflheim system. So, <clears throat> let's have a look at the stats. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. But anyways, um, join us next time on Niflheim 2. Oh dear. And you'll understand why I say oh dear on the next time. So until then, if you have been YouTubers, thank you very, very much for watching.